ESM brand name creation process. In this lesson, you're going to learn the important elements of a brand name and how to create your own. The secrets of a great brand name. Firstly, it must be market related. Next, it does not restrict your choice of future products. It should be somewhat benefit driven. It passes the phone test. And lastly, it's available online. So let's take a closer look at each of these elements. Market related. Your brand name should be related to your market. For example, if your first product is fitness related, you'd be looking at a fitness related brand. Golden Age Athletics, for instance. Or Elite Athletics. Obviously, both of these are fitness related. However, it's important to notice the difference between the two. Obviously, Golden Age Athletics is aimed at an older demographic. Whereas Elite Athletics is aimed at a more professional or advanced athlete demographic. So you need to examine your market or your niche. And yes, you've only got one product right now, but you need to be thinking forward about other related products. So write down who you think your product or brand is for. Your future products. Your brand name should be applicable to any future products you may add. Remember, you will be adding more and more products as your brand grows. An example, a yoga brand. So you could have yoga mats for you, yoga for you, or bear movement. Now, yoga mats for you is obviously going to restrict you to yoga mats. Yes, you could add related products, but people are going to assume that if your brand name is yoga mats for you, then you're only going to be selling yoga mats. Yoga for you is a little bit better. It's broader. It basically is telling the customer that you are a company selling products related to yoga. However, you could take it one step further and use the brand name Bear Movement because that would cover all aspects of yoga as well as a larger range of products. So keep your options open. Don't make your brand name too specific to one product. Benefit driven. Now the name should make you feel a positive emotion. This might not always be possible depending on your niche. An example would be a beauty brand. Glowing Goddess versus Skin Cream Warehouse. Obviously Glowing Goddess emotes a much stronger positive emotion than simply Skin Cream Warehouse. Now this is not the most critical aspect but can be very beneficial. Because fairly often your brand name could be the first thing your prospective customer sees. The phone test. So the name should be easily recognizable. It should be short, easy to spell, pronounce and remember. Example, ingenious innovations versus smart solutions. Obviously smart solutions is much easier to spell, pronounce and remember. Now again, while this can be very beneficial, it is not critical. An example is Walmart. Before Walmart existed, when they first opened their brand, most people would think it was spelt Walmart with two L's. And yes, that is a massive brand as an example. But it's a simple example of how it is much easier to have a brand name that's easy to spell. And this is especially important once you build your domain. And why do we call it the phone test? It's really simple. When you come up with some brand names, call friends and put them to the test. It's available online. You are going to want your brand name as a domain. And this is simple to find out online. You also want to check your brand name is not already in existence. And you also want to make sure your brand is not trademarked. So let's go online and see how we do this. Now there are several ways you can search for your brand name and I'm also going to show you one site which can help you find brand names. The order in which you do these is not critical. You can mix it up. You can actually use the site I'm going to show you for creating domain names first if you wish. But if you've got a brand name in mind, then you are going to need to check the trademark. Now, just as I did with the patent lesson, I have to stress here, I am not an attorney. I'm not a trademark attorney. What I'm showing you here is purely for educational purposes. So if you are unsure at all, then you should contact a trademark attorney. But basically it's our old friend, the USPTO. And if you download the PDF, the lesson PDF below the video, it will have all the links that I'm going to show you. But basically, once you come to this page, you can read about searching the trademark database, what's involved, etc. It's going to show you the different kinds of searches. The one we want to do is test trademark electronic search system. Now, I'm not saying this is the only search you should do, but it's the one I'm going to show you. And you just want to click on search trademarks. 
it will bring you to this page and the one we're looking for again I'm not saying it's the only one you should do but the one we're looking for and the one we're going to use here is basic word mark search brackets new user so we just click on it and it brings us to this screen the search term is that's where you're going to put your brand name so if I use the example we had for the beauty brand which if you remember was glowing goddess so I've typed that in and then click submit query okay so it's actually found two records you can see here one of them is glowing goddess maternity and you can see it's live and there's another one called glowing goddess which is dead now an initial thought would be that the glowing goddess brand name is available but you want to complete the other searches and as I said if you get this kind of situation and you're not 100% sure you must contact a trademark attorney or trademark service I am not a trademark professional or attorney and I'm not qualified to give you specific advice on checking trademarks but we can take a look at these so I'm going to open this one in a new tab and you can see the information it gives you glowing goddess maternity so the reason the first two words are bolded is because that was what our search is but it looks like the brand name is actually glowing goddess maternity under goods and services you can see what kind of things they sell and you can also see the owner but if I close that tab we go back and we take a quick look at glowing goddess itself I'll just click on it you can see here abandoned now it doesn't give you any reason why it was abandoned but basically it's saying the registration is dead now this is only one of the searches we're going to do and before we move on yes I'm gonna say it again when it comes to trademarks if you're not sure about anything then make sure you contact a trademark attorney or a trademark service so the next search we can actually do is in Google so I'm gonna use quotes and my brand name inside the quotes now you can see it is actually bringing some products up here so this is not a good sign you can see glowing goddess makeup but remember this is just an example I'm gonna click search then you want to inspect the results we're seeing a lot of Facebook so they've obviously got a Facebook presence as glowing goddess you can see they've got images we keep scrolling down it doesn't look like glowinggoddess.com is showing up here but we can go and look at a product by clicking on the search and we can see we've got glowing goddess luminizer now it's difficult to tell from this image whether glowing goddess is actually the brand name or is a product name but essentially this would put me off because it's in the same niche as the brand we want in other words a beauty brand and the fact it's in one of the products could be a problem further down the road even though it didn't show up in the trademark the next thing we can do is check on the domain name we do want the domain name and we do want the com domain name and without any dashes just the name so if we go to namecheap.com you can use any registrar to search this I happen to like namecheap you go to where it says search domain and I'm typing in glowinggoddess.com now you don't actually have to put the .com in but I just want to specify here that that's what I'm after and then click on search you can if you've got multiple different brand names to try you can use their bulk search by clicking on bulk search and you might want to do that after you've been through the next site but we just click on search and see what it brings up so there you can see glowinggoddess.com it is taken basically you could buy this domain if you wanted for two thousand three hundred and ninety five dollars so someone has obviously grabbed this domain and is just holding onto it till someone wants to buy it and that might be the reason that it didn't show up in Google search but we can copy the name we can open a new tab paste it in and see what it shows us and there you go it's actually a domain selling service so at this point I would rule out glowing goddess the fact that it appeared on a product and also has no domain name for me would make me move away from this as we're on that subject I want to show you this site it's called leandomainsearch.com and I want to thank Ben Cleary one of our mentors for bringing this to my attention because it is really cool so in our case we're in the beauty market we know that glowing goddess is gone but glowing is a pretty good word for a beauty brand so I would type in glowing and then hit search domains and it's giving you a ton of different domains that are available with glowing in it so I've just scrolled down I actually quite like the look of true glowing so I'm gonna click on it and see what it brings up and here we can see true glowing is still available and it's also available on Twitter in other words nobody's got at true glowing now you can go and register with any of these domains if this appeal to you but we should always do first is go through the searches we've just been through to see if true glowing exists this is a really cool site for finding domain names for your brand and even creating a brand name because it will show you options 
and that might be an awesome brand name for you. So if we go up, I'm just gonna try another one. Let's say Kitchen. So Kitchen Together. It's not particularly emotion evoking, but it's just one I found. There's tons of others. So again, I'm gonna click on it. And you can actually see here, it's no longer available. So obviously they haven't updated their site. And you can see, we won't show it as available in future searches for you or anyone else. So you've actually helped everyone else here. But we'll close that one. Try to see if we can find another one. See Kitchen Division, but that's a bit too much like Kitchen Store. Charter Kitchen. Let's have a look. It is available and it's available on Twitter. Now, having the name available on social sites is also very useful. But don't rule out a domain name just because you haven't got it. However, if you see that Twitter or Facebook has your domain name listed, then make sure you take the extra steps for due diligence to make sure that your brand name isn't already in use by another company. Now on the subject of social sites, this site, Name Checker, note the spelling, it's name and then C-H-E-C-K-R. But again, all these links are in the lesson download below this video. But it's a great way of checking on Facebook, Twitter, etc. So I'm using the example we just used, which was Charter Kitchen. And for the brand name, you put it all in as one word. So you remove the spaces, do not use .com or anything like that, and then click search. And boom, you can see Charter Kitchen is actually available everywhere. And that's how simple it is to use. So if you were in the kitchen market, then Charter Kitchen's an option. However, I am not saying Charter Kitchen is a great brand name. Although it will be interesting in six months time to have a look and see if anyone else has used it. So what's next? So you have learned what the basic elements of a great brand name are and how to check if it is available. In the next lesson, you will learn all about the importance of a logo and how to get it created. Your action step, decide on a brand name and grab your domain name straight away. That's it for this lesson. Take care.